It doesn't matter if you're fast or slow. If you're consistent, you can have a chance at placing on the podium. That, I was not. How's it going everybody? Hope you're doing well. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name's Rex. In this video, you're gonna watch me attempt to participate in my first trophy race ever. But in case you're new to my channel, I'm gonna recap everything that you might have missed. So this all started a little while back. I started going to the local carpet track, indoor carpet track over the winter, and I really enjoyed my time there. So much so that when I heard about a mini race class that they were having, I decided to get myself an M08. An M08 is a mini chassis, a mini 10 scale chassis by Tamiya. It's a rear wheel drive, mid motor car. And that was my weapon of choice. So I bought that, I brought it to the track, I drove it a lot, I played with it, I did well with it. We even had a club race where I felt fairly consistent. But then I find out about this trophy race, which is much bigger deal because there are many more people attending uh, something like this. However, I got to practice in a way twice, but in a way not at all. Because I practiced on a full day before the track was changed. There were minor changes, not a big deal. If you want to see that footage, I'll put that in a link down below. And then I did some practice the night before the trophy race, but there were two problems with that. A, my tires were gone and I hadn't realized it yet until overnight and I switched them the next day. And once I had switched them the next day, my car was all out of whack because I tried to spend the night before trying to tune my car to drive with the worn out tires. And now I've got new tires the next day with a lot more grip So my tune just wasn't working great for me. Also, I ended up leaving the track late, even though I didn't satisfyingly tune my car properly. Got home, tried to get some sleep, but I couldn't sleep very well because I was excited. And then I woke up late and didn't get to the track in time to have a good practice session. Only got to do a couple laps on the track before I broke my C-Hub. And then it was race time and you need to help with marshalling. So there's not a lot of time in between races either to do a lot to your car. But I had loads of fun, don't get me wrong. Sadly though, I had forgotten to put the camera on my head for the first heat and I'd only realized it once I was on the driver's stand. It was a little bit too late to run back down to get the camera at that point. So I do have the second heat, the third heat, and the main. The third, no, the second, yeah, the third heat, I believe, is very entertaining for a small, well actually they're all very entertaining, what am I saying? But a couple of things to note, in the second heat, I'm just trying to stay calm. But remember what I said about consistency. You'll see that I make a few taps and that makes all the difference in the races. In the second race, I end up having a section where I get to follow the leader because I, I, hit, a, I hit the lollipop before the straight. You'll, you'll see what I mean. And I get stuck there. The leader ends up coming around and coming up to me. I let him pass me and I'm able to follow him. I'm kidding, I'm not able to follow him. I was able to hang out with him for half the track. And also there was a part in the third heat where I think Gary and I, Gary with the white Mazda Miata, me with the white BRZ, we were having some nice little exchanges going back and forth. It was actually so fun that uh, instead of taking off, I hung out with him to play with him some more, not remembering that it was a race. I was just having a lot of fun with him. Last thing before we go into the racing, you'll see that I'm late quite often to my heats or to, my, to, the, to the driver's stand. And that's because I was doing a lot of marsh. I was literally marshalling like every race um, because I, was, I had a head cam on. So I was trying to get good footage on my head cam of the other races as well. So I was marshalling those. I didn't have time to clean my tires or uh, change setup very, very much, but it was okay. I just took this as a fun experience to play. I wasn't trying to win or trying to do better at this moment. Uh, I will possibly, I'm probably going to do future races uh, at some point and I'll try and take them a lot more seriously or try and place at least something. Anyway, let's get to the video. This has been long. I'll try not to interrupt the video too much so it's a nice smooth flow, but I might, who knows. And at the end of the video, we'll have some more thoughts. All right, on, on, on that whole thing, on everything, on whatever. Yeah, let's go enjoy the video. All right, just re-gluing my tires and prepping because I think I was, I was flipping because these tires aren't glued enough. Hey, you guys glue your tires on mini? Oh no, I broke a C-Hub and it's 
and a steering knuckle right before racing. Good thing I have some extra parts. I'm gonna go ahead and switch that up. And I just learned that my flipping problem is due to full saucing my tires. Everybody else is only half saucing. I'm the only one full saucing. So let's half sauce and see what happens. All right, so there's a bunch of heats going on before the mains. There's a lot racing. Richard, Peter, Flint, F1 Jimmy, Mini, Rash, and USGT. Ooh, that's a nice F1, buddy. Yeah, F1. Okay, so I just ran my first heat, and I forgot to put the camera on my head. I realized that when I was on the driver's stand, it was too late, but uh, maybe I should have recorded it. So I drove fairly calm, and I think I did okay. Uh, I'm in the bottom half of the group, I believe. I was full saucing. Oh yeah, I already showed in the video. So I'm, I, was, I put the half sauce on, but I lost a lot of steering. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I like that. So, but I also full sauce the rear and only half sauce the front. Maybe I should try to be more consistent, half sauce all around. Maybe I'll use the next heat as an experiment. Yeah. Okay. Let's put you on my head for the next heat. John, you get Marshall and volunteer Marshall the center, please. Alright, that's okay. Can everyone cross the line? Just to make sure. Alright, we have a count. So, it's going to be Chris, McKay. I'm dropping, I'm dropping. <laughs> so once again, it will be Chris, Matei, Bazal, Ryan, Gary, Rex, Bear, and James. Chris, on the tone, let's go. Everybody, we have four of a B shape. Bazal, Ryan, Gary, Rex. Sorry, trying to let you through. Two minutes left. 
Match. I let you buy earlier. So that was my second heat. That was crazy. My hands are still shaking like leaves here. That was awesome. Uh, I think about it for a second. I'll come back. All right. I forgot to say for the last heat. Uh, well, the heat before the last one, I actually had my sway bar um, retainers loose because I was going to change my sway bar, but I didn't end up changing my sway bar, and I left them loose, and that's why in the first heat. I had no steering, it was terrible. Or second heat, I don't remember. Anyway, the last heat I just did, I, I buckled them down and it did much better. Also, I changed it to the harder sway bar in the rear. It was the blue marked sway bar, and I changed it to the red one. And it did much better. So I'm going to be doing that for this next heat as well. Nothing's changed. Just uh, hopefully my driving. <laughs> I need the USB uh, yeah. drivers to Marshall. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you, thank you everybody. Damir, are you with Marshall for us? Thank you very much. Oh no, I didn't I clean my tires. Before corner. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't oh, clean my ready. tires. This is so inconsistent. Where's, where's Ryan? You don't, you don't need to do no. armor clad at all? He wants full voltage. Wow, full voltage. You forget to ask me to do some voodoo to your car. Damn it. I know. Uh-oh. Or uh, if you want to beat Chris, that's the only way. I know, I know one <laughs> other way. <laughs> All right. Marshall's ready. Driver's ready. Chris, on the top. Mate, Ryan, Fasal, Gary, Eric, Rex, and James. Fasal did a or or, or teacher 
turn to the <laughs> Can you turn to the 12 7? Derek did a 12 7. He is knocking on the TV door. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cars are all separate within 2 seconds. Keep it up. Oh no! Oh no! Thank you, whoever hit me. That's how you're in bad way, sorry. Let's see what's going on after. So many laughs. Oh, with somebody go. Chris Matei, Ryan, Ferrick, Rex, Gary, the South, and Jake, it's your running order. Someone did a 12-4. What? Wow. Ow. Holy shit. Matei, it's right behind him. Ryan in third, Ferry in fourth. He is jumping one spot up, and Rex is jumping one spot up, pushing Gary down. Gary oh, I'm touching Gary. Back up to fourth. Thank you. He is only 0.7 seconds behind Ryan. Oh. Hey, uh, Gary, what happened? Two minutes and 50 seconds left. Thank you, Jamie. Chris! He is going down. He's great to beat car. Wow, so tight. Driving like a touring car. Oh, what's going on? And Mate is second. Not too far behind him. Going down the street. Ryan! He's half Chinese. Asian guy. No! And then he rolled and he jammed past him. Yep. With that roll, he jammed it's in fourth right now. Derek is up to third overall. Try to go. Nothing. Oh, let me see. It's only three seconds behind. Mate overall, but he is one second behind Mate in the race right now. Let's see what he can do. Wow, he's rocking a mini NSX body. <laughs> so mean. It's so nice. It looks so nice out there. Thank you. Oh, you were fun to drive with. <laughs> Coming through! Don't take me out! Thank you! This is fun, Gary! But. Sorry, Jamie. All right, keep it up, guys. Wow, Beric, it's only 0.00 seconds. 009 seconds behind Mate. Damn. Knocking on second overall. Do I call your name? Are you for Rex? Are you for Cheese? You guys are all in! Chris took this one. That's awesome, man! Beerick! <laughs> wow! Ooh. Show some Dude. Nice spot! Second, good job, guys. Overall, 2351 push my team down. I'm sorry if I hit somebody. Move a little.
little. Rex, come on, man. A couple inches, please. Oh, Thank you. Oh, please. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Thank you. I've marshaled like every race. One volunteer marshal. USDT drivers, please come out and marshal. Thank you, John. We need a mark for that post. Yeah, we need a mark for that corner. That corner is this box here. I need a marshal following my car. Can you marshal this for us? I can't go to Japan this way, guys. Someone call Tom. Yeah. All right, so the order is going to be Chris. Eric, Matei, Tazal, Rick, or Ryan, Gary, Rex, and James. There, we still need someone at that center post. Someone go to the post, please. Marshall the post for us. Uh oh! Yeah, good man. No, no, Oh, come on. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we don't want to cripple. Don't make Phil. No, no, don't make Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get off the track. Full body. How did he go? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing fun class. So, marshals, put your hands up, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. On the sound of the tone, slice and pop. Drivers Ryan. 
Thank you, Gary. Thanks, man. Marshall! Second place card on the way. Oh, Becky! Becky! Now that gap's going to close down to 29. And I'm with Tay right now. Ryan's playing. Sorry, Fuzzle. That is all. Is, is one more time to bring Ryan. Hey, Okay, we're done. That was intense. Super fun, super intense. As you saw there, it was loads and loads of fun. You know, it doesn't matter where you are uh, on the track and what place you're in, you're always having some sort of race. If it's not with yourself, it's going to be with somebody. If it's not with somebody, it's going to be with yourself. And it's, it's, it's something I would definitely like to do again. And when I do this again, I will organize and manage and prepare uh, tires and things like that before or ahead of time. Make sure I'm on a set of new tires when I practice and I can carry those tires on over to the racing. I think that's a good idea. That's really the only thing I would change. There's nothing else to change. You know, it's really easy to get into. You need a couple of your tools, a car, some extra parts. Uh, if you want to know more detail on how easy it is to, to operate a track and maybe some things you might need, I've got tons of track videos you can check on the channel. I'm no expert, I'm no pro, but you can actually join me on my learning experience as I learn and figure out what to do and bring to the track and how to tune my car. The race itself did have an entrance fee and it was really low, something like, uh, it might have been 30 Canadian dollars or something, don't quote me. And it's really going to a good cause. You're supporting your local track to help keep it open. Uh, keep that in mind. That's, that's, that's uh, one of the large reasons hobby shops, local hobby shops are gone is because people are all ordering online and a shop can't keep its doors open if it's not making some sort of profit on something. And when I say profit, this hobby is, it doesn't make people rich when, when they own businesses in this hobby. So we're really just helping each other survive. Oh yeah, and in case you didn't read the description, this is 21.5 racing class, 21.5 uh, censored brushless motor. We are limited to a 20 tooth pinion gear, and I didn't even have the correct motor up until the, I should have mentioned in the beginning of the video, but I didn't even have the correct motor up until that practice night. That practice night, about 9, 8, 9 p.m. is when I got the motor from somebody. 
uh, that I need. Uh, before that, I was using a 17.5. So uh, the car definitely drove differently with, with both motors because there's a lot more power coming from the 17.5. Well, I think I'm rambling on too long. There's probably more information that I can't think of right now. But uh, it was a really long day, all day, from 9 in the morning till 5. I should have been there for 6 a.m. practice. It was really fun, and I would definitely do it again. I know I already said that, but I don't know what to say anymore. Thanks for joining me, and if you like this type of video, I have lots of other track videos on my channel. Definitely check it out. Thank you for joining me. Make it a great day. See you in the future. Peace out, friends.